Actually, we're thinking we should have replayed the ending there. Because hands down, it was uh, Andy Stewart, our general manager of the five radio stations in the Clear, uh, Clear Channel bunker, uh, taking on his honorable, the honorable, his honor, Mayor Carlton Finkbeiner. And Cardi dominated that final game. Cardi Finkbeiner named yesterday March Mad Men for 2001. And what a great field we had, though. He had uh, Herbie the Dentist from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. You had uh, Alexander Hamilton on the bill. Uh, our friend Ed Emery was on the list. A lot of Elton John. A lot of great names making it. But Cardi stood head and shoulders above the rest to claim the title of Mar- uh, Mad Men for 2001. And you have to respect somebody who, unlike the Buckeyes, wins something. Because, I'll tell you what, most people would win a, ch- a title and go, I'm going to go to Disney World, woo! Uh, not Cardi. Let me tell you something about the character that man has. This guy is a winner, all right? Wins March Mad Men 2001 last night. And you think, okay, you know, I'm going to take a little break here, rest up the offseason, enjoy it, show the trophy off to the kids, got my picture taken with it. Rest on your laurels, you know, until you start gearing up for next year's competition. <laughs> Not this man. That's what makes Cardi a true champion, folks. That's what makes your mayor the man that he is. Because, while others will just take it easy, there are no days off when you're Cardi Finkbeiner. Today, there was a press conference at the corner of Bancroft and Cherry Streets. Uh, Farmer Jack's announcing they're putting a new store down in the Central City, which is, you know, hey, great news for the people who live in the Central City. They haven't had a store, like, for a while, and Farmer Jack says, okay, we'll try this. Now, of course, you know, I'll give you the reasons why, the obvious reasons why there's not too many new businesses going up in the central city. Uh, but Farmer Jack's rules, as I say, well, we're going to try this. So, this afternoon, Cardi has a press conference, and you'll hear the cars in the background here. I'm going to play a couple clips from March Mad Men 2001 winner Cardi Finkbeiner. Most people would sit on their hands, not Cardi. He came at it with both barrels this afternoon, proving while he ultimately deserved the title of March Madman 2001. Not deserved, but he took it almost as a birthright, this championship. He took it seriously. He continues to take it seriously. So they're at this uh, intersection. They have a press conference. And uh, Dennis uh, Eidson is the president of Farmer Jacks. He's there. So you've got all the corporate bigwigs sitting next to the mayor as he addresses the crowd out there, mostly media. So Cardi starts out, and I want you to hear. You know, he's one of those guys, not one of those guys, he is the guy. He gets one of those things in his head, and it just starts flowing. He's like a poet of insanity. He's a cr- You just hear the gears grinding and turning, and he's shifting. <laughs> a pro, man. He's a professional nutty person. So listen to his brain. You can hear the tempo of the speech increase here. Uh, He goes from 0 to 60. uh, What he's saying really is is not all that interesting, but I want you to listen to how he just gears up and you know something big is coming. It's like, you know, you're standing out on the shore, out on the point or something like that, and you feel that wind blowing in and the clouds start to roll in and it's all nice and everything, but you know in about 15 minutes, all hell's going to break loose. Lightning, thunder, dogs and cats, all that other stuff. Same way with Cardi. Mount Cardi erupted this afternoon and I want you to hear this. This is why he's March Madman 2001. Why he is the man. Zero to 60 in 57 seconds. Just listen to the tone of his voice. Here you go. I drove in with uh, two or three of the Farmer Jack men this morning. And as I drove in, Sabrina and I noted that right across the street from us, where Wrighty had a uh, lease on the property that we do not think they have any longer, they've got some challenges. It's unkempt. There's wood that needs to be cut, tree limbs that need to be cut, there's, there's paper and litter that needs to be picked up, there's some of the sidewalk as we came down. Uh, Cherry Street that needs to be uh, improved as well. Here we go. Now, the reason why I say that is because if Farmer Jacks is not only going to invest here, but put money back after they've invested, <laughs> which is what every business has to do. Anyone who fails, fails because screaming. they fail to put perspiration and dollars back into where they originally invested. And they will only do that <laughs> if they're one of two things, dumb, or they don't see that their original investment 
is being appreciated. All right, so there you go. He started off nice and calm, and then by the end, and they're not appreciated. So he continues anyway. Now he's not even talking about Farmer Jacks. I mean, in his mind, these guys who would come in from the corporate offices of Farmer Jacks are just let me never uh, never interrupt a good rant. Should be the uh, uh, the mayor's motto. Because he continues here, and it's not anymore the, part of the press conference. It's not about Farmer Jacks anymore. I was absolutely disgusted to read in the newspaper the other day where the YMCA that deserted Central <laughs> Toledo, that closed the Indiana Y, is now looking at Bedford Township for their next YMCA after their last four have been on Holland, Sylvania Road in Springfield <laughs> Township, in Perrysburg, and, in... Um, Where's that next quote? <laughs> uh, a merger with the Jewish Community Center in Sylvania Township, roll. and now Bedford Township. He's if you look at those communities, they are overwhelmingly Preach it. white Preach it. and middle class. There is nobody challenged and poor for they're putting the YMCA's and Edna and Terry and every man and woman. We have a fight, and we're going right to the top. Lee Don and Mike Anderson, because they've sold out Central Toledo <laughs> while they go out to the top, build their Taj Mahals in suburbia. Uh, That's not acceptable. It is. It is racial. The YMCA has moved out to the suburbs, and they're out of the central city. Now, isn't it like the Catholic Club of Toledo that like, nobody goes down there anymore? So that down. Well, ah, whatever. Don't interrupt the mayor when he has a good rant. Never mind you put businesses are where the people are that are going to spend the money. Oh, forget about that. You know, you look at the uh, average income in the inner city. Not too many people can manage to squeeze in the 40 bucks a month for the health club membership. But you, know, you don't want to interrupt the good rant here. Only Cardi could be talking about a supermarket and turn it into like a, a YMCA racial issue. And then the best part. Now that these, now he has the attention. Now that these guys from Farmer Jacks are talking amongst themselves while he's ranting, and they're going to each other. I think it's like <clears throat> maybe we could like get out of the contract. You know they're like whispering because you know we got to work with this guy. Maybe there's like a loophole in there. Has, has the ink dried yet? Now on top of all this, him he's ramping up here. He's gearing up. He's going. He's in fourth gear right now. He's making great time. He gets in the YMCA thing. Then he brings it back to Farmer Jacks. And now, after telling them how important this whole thing, he's going to tell them how to run the store. This store should not be a little cutout of what they've done in Detroit, Michigan. It ain't acceptable. I'm delighted to have them here, but I want them to make this Farmer Jacks, Bancroft, and Cherry in Toledo, Ohio, as they'll be expected to do that on Burn Road and with their other new stores. This should be unique uh. to this neighbor, and it should recreate some of the history of this neighborhood because the what? men and women who ch some have chosen to live here all those decades they're proud of it and they want to be reminded of their past and that they've made a commitment to this part of Toledo, Ohio. We will not let you down in terms of keeping this neighborhood strong and sound and we'll do everything in our power to help it be, make it be easy for men and women to get into your into your supermarket. But we expect How? in return full service Fresh fruit, fresh produce, high quality meats, good quality stuff, nothing secondhand <laughs> or second pass downs from some other store in suburbia to this. I only say that because secondhand that lettuce. Springfield Shopping Center, you all know it. Pass it down. Kroger's took it from suburbia and <laughs> brought it in and sold the hams at Easter time. Second rate at the Swainfield Shopping Center. Uh, all of our citizens are equal and deserve good quality. Oh my we're God! This, that, that dollar bill counts for the same amount. In does that Plato socialism? It does, does it? Does it ever end? Seriously, listen to that. <clears throat> the secondhand food. I can't tell you how many times I've gone down to a store. You know, down here in Broadway, work uh, for the station, for example. You know, uh, where the average income isn't all that high, and gone in there and just seen like rotten lettuce for sale, two for eighty-eight cents. You can't sell that. It's illegal. You can't have, like, green meat. Didn't that whole... You remember that whole food lion thing in the South with the 2020 and that big investigation? You can't do that. Second, <laughs> secondhand meat. Here's the thing, all right? You're talking about the quality of... If you go to a certain store, you know, the, the really deep... Like Aldi, for example. Okay, and you get their labeled stuff. It's marked down because, yeah, it's not, you're not paying the, you know, it's like that generic thing going on there. Okay? It still has to pass rigorous inspection, but at the same time, it's not like, you know, 
your your A label merchandise because these people don't have that kind of money. But you know, they gotta have. We're gonna have. You know, you're gonna have to have Black Angus steak. Well, then again, you know, Black Angus. And, all right, you're gonna have to have some sort of nice cut of meat in there and steak. And even though no one's gonna buy it because they don't have the money. This guy's going to go on a rant next time you know he goes in there and the, the corn on the cob isn't fresh enough for him. So that's why he is Madman 2001. Are there any questions? God, I hope not. If that doesn't answer it right there, this does. Councilwoman Edna Brown, what do you think of Cardi Finkbeiner winning March Madman last night at Arnie's? <laughs> well, um... Uh doesn't surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> God bless Edna. Traffic and weather together on the 10s on 1370 WSPD. Here is Lynn Cassidy. Go. Try to avoid Huron and Walnut. We're looking at an injury accident.